And as the sun rises on a new day, we are ready and primed to go to the dungeon. Welcome back to Wind Waker, everybody. And welcome to the Tower of the Gods. It's an interesting dungeon. And, uh... You'll notice that over here there are some walls that can be blown up with your cannon. But we'll take care of those rooms later. Um, the first room we're going to do is the room right here on our right. Looks like a little tiny gazebo underwater. However, the water level will drop. And then we will have access to the room. And uh, now that we're in here, there is a yellow chew. Hi, Mr. Yellow Chew. He gives us red jelly. Interesting. But, uh, yeah. So, Yellow Chews don't actually have their own jelly. Um, it's not like in uh, Twilight Princess where Yellow Chew jelly is used for lantern oil. But, uh, all we have to do is just, uh, look around and we will see that there are some bombable walls and such up above and uh, what you have to do is just jump onto the platform and then bomb it and then go over to the other one and then bomb that one however that one over to my right right here you have to move boxes in order to gain access to so what we'll do is we'll move this box over as far as we can and then climb up on it and wait for the water to rise. And then place the bomb down on the box and run away. And that blew up the wall and released a yellow chew. It also blows up the box, so you'll have to move another box in order to get up there. Uh, I can just kill you, it's fine. So we'll start doing that, and yep, now he gave us green chew jelly. They will give you either red or green, they will not give you blue. Um, because the blue chew jelly is very rare and reserved for that. I think I can do this, however. Hang on, let me try. Let me try. I can! Awesome. Basically, all that's in there is a joy pendant, but um, if you go over to this side, there is a chest, and when you open it, some more chews will fall down into the room behind you. However, we will have the contents of the chest, so it won't particularly matter, and we can just leave the room. We have the dungeon map now, and uh, as stated before, there are the additional chews. Just four of them, so, but they are guarding the door. Goodbye! And then roll and jump and hop in. And then we will move on to the next room, which is over here. You can either pull out your sail and tilt the control stick or hold cruise. Um, either way, because there's no wind in here, you can't actually sail with the wind. Um, because there is no wind to be had. Climb. Thank you. All right. And you'll notice that there's a button here. This is one of the contact buttons, basically, where you place something down on it and it'll hold the button down. But if you step on it, it'll pause briefly, um, and uh, you won't actually keep the button down, but it'll have a weird cutscene type thing, which I still don't understand why it does, but with this room, you'll notice that there's water once again in it, and there's a thing on the other side. We, however, cannot get to the other side, so we have to jump down here, and there is a little tiny button down here, same as before, and this one makes a hard light bridge above us, so what we have to do is we just have to climb back up and then wait for the water level to rise and then fall because the boxes float. And because the boxes float, we have to wait, and I will probably cut that out. Water level just fell, so let's roll across and grab this. It doesn't take too long um, for the water level to fall, but... Uh, it can be a little bit tedious because the whole first floor of the dungeon is like this. And what you have to do is you just have to plop it down onto that. 
and uh, that will open up this giant gate that's back there. So now we can get back to that room, and uh, we'll do that really quickly. Goo. I always take care of this side first. Um, I don't know if you can take care of the other side first or not. I never do. Um, I know that we can't do everything on the other side as we are equipped now. Um, there is something in this dungeon that we will have to come back with in order to do everything. Which actually reminds me. I also have the ability to go back and take care of some things in the past two dungeons that we couldn't actually do. And I will do that later. But, um... For now, I'll just take care of this dungeon. And uh, in this room, there's a bunch of boxes. And uh, basically, you just have to make a platform that you can run all the way across with. And uh, you don't really have to do too much work. You just have to put a box, like, right here in the middle between these two. And uh, they give you a lot of boxes to work with. And I don't really know why. But... Um, this should be good enough. If it's not, then I will speed up the footage. But it should be good enough. All you have to do is just pick up the stick, light it on fire, and then go across. Hopefully I don't get dropped. Go. Go. There we go. Alright. So that's that. And then we can open up the chest. And if I'm correct, it is a small key. It is. And this is why I always do this side first. Because there is... Whoop, and, uh, again, once you open up the chest, there's a bunch of chews that fall. But, uh... Yeah, this is why you should do this side first. is because, uh, the small key. Because you can't open one of the doors over there. Ah. There we go. It's interesting that you can climb up even while you're underwater. Useful, but interesting. And, uh, all we have to do now is just walk over the, uh, wall, because, of course, we can't sail over it. So, just get out, climb up, and roll across. And, uh, then we'll take care of you. Poke. Poke. I always boomerang the yellow chews and the blue chews, because I don't want their electricity to mess me up. And, uh, here we have the bubble. Hi, bubble. You can put them out with the deco leaf and then kill them. They're not that big of a thing. And uh, you'll notice that Link is looking at the eye that's up there. We'll have to come back to take care of that, so uh, don't worry about it right now. You can't do anything with it. Um, let me open up the chest. And this is, I think, a treasure chart. No, it's the compass, isn't it? Yep, it's the compass. Uh, Behind that is a treasure chart, though. And, uh, we'll come back to that room in a little bit. But, uh, for now, we have to go down here. And I think if we pull out a stick that's on fire, and we run down here, there are two torches. If we light them up, a chest appears. And we can light the chew on fire. Goodbye, Chew! Whoa, hello, camera. Then we open up this chest, and it's just a joy pendant. Which, useful, but not helpful for me, because I have... Let's find out how many. I have 52 joy pendants. Because I've been constantly stealing Boo Coblin's joy pendants. Hello, Chews. Steal your jelly. Poke you. Go away. Steal your jelly. Whoop! Did not do that fast enough. Still got the jelly, though. <laughs> oh, well. And if you're swimming over this platform, you don't actually lose uh, your swimming ability. So you can stay flowing and you don't have to worry. I mean, it's short enough that you don't have to worry anyway, but it's a nice touch that they left that there. Grab your jelly. Poke you with the boomerang. Yeah, you don't want to... Uh... <laughs> You don't want to parry electrified chews, for the obvious reason. That should have lifted me up. Right, yep. And now we can just grab this. 
and then uh, head back down and wait for the water to drop so that we don't drop the uh, whatever this is, statue, monolith thing, I don't know. But uh, all you have to do is you have to bring it up to this little uh, gazebo thing and then plop it down and that will switch the water flow, revealing a door. So now we can head upstairs and jump across and then get into the King of Red Lions and head over to the door and wait for the uh, water level to raise again. And uh, now that it has, we just climb up and uh, head through the door. And that's the end of the water puzzle. So, in this room, we have a couple of rats that I want to take care of immediately. Where are you? There you are. And I should be able to target you now. Nope, wall was in the way. There we go. Alright, so the rats are taken care of. Uh, grab one of the statues, and then wait for the thing to go by, and go around this side, and then out. There we go. And then plop you down on the button. There we go. And roll right around. And then wait. And go. Because it's going a certain direction, so you want to go on the left side so that it doesn't see you every time you go past it. And uh, once all three buttons are pressed, you don't have to worry, and the buttons will stay pressed, so all the platforms are moving. And uh, all we have to do is just go up. And there is something at the top, and uh, I will point that out to those that do not know about it. There is a door here, right? But we want to actually go up there, and you'll see why in a second. Go. And then we pull out our bombs, and bomb, and uh, run away. I missed! No! <laughs> I'll be right back! I'm actually just going to do this. Put the bomb there, and then walk over to this side of the platform and hope that works. It does work! Awesome! Anyway, now that we're not in a bottomless pit, once you bomb this area, a chest appears. And you have to know that this is here. Um, from the old game. Because we get the goddess Tingle statue. It's kind of weird, but okay. And uh, now that we jump the right direction onto the platform, we can move on. And uh, this room is the main room of the dungeon, I should say. Uh, we'll be coming through these doors around here. But uh, right now we can only go through one, and it's the flashing one. So if we open up the uh, jars around here, sometimes there will be uh, replenishing items. But unfortunately for me, nothing seemed to be working for that. But uh, all we have to do is just go across on the moving platform. Hey look, another eye. Uh, and then go around the choose. And in this room, we have something different. If we read this thing, it'll tell us uh, something about how we can press R to call this statue. And uh, we have to lead it back to the main room, basically. And uh, what we have to do for this is we just have to walk slowly, and uh, wait for him to catch up, and make sure that he doesn't fall off. And, uh, yeah. This, pff, I don't remember how long this took me as a kid. Um, I know one of the three rooms took me a while, but basically, all you have to do is just pick him up, and then jump. And that confused me. That's the part that confused me. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that some other people would be, like, confused about that as well, but most people would be not confused about it at all. 
but it doesn't particularly matter anyway. Once we get back to the main room, we put him down automatically, and he will walk forward. And once he's up on this pedestal, something will appear. It looks like another song. We pull out the Wind Waker. I have to check it first. Pull out the Wind Waker. There we go. And what we have to do to do 4-4, four, four, if you remember, is we just have to hold left on the control stick, so... And then with the little one in the center, you just leave the control stick neutral. Yep, command melody. Alright, we'll bring them back. Don't worry. Goodbye. And, uh, now we have to go do that again. So, uh, let's go find another one. After I look for some... Supplies. Only well, we found magic power. That's all right. And uh, you. Yep, yep, yep. Hang on. Do 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 do. Deck leaf, go away. Poke. And you. Oblivion. Goodbye. All right. And then we hook onto this one and swing across and make it. <laughs> In this room, we have to whoop, <laughs> have to press the right button. Still not used to the pro controller. And then call him. And put that away it away and then step on this button ourselves and that will make a light bridge appear and uh, what we have to do now is we have to play the command melody and that will allow us to tell the statue where to go by controlling it which is interesting and the head swivels which is interesting but um yeah so the uh, statues can all be controlled by the command melody. And what you have to do is you just have to press ZR to go back, and that's all. And then you can swing back across yourself. And then pick them up and go through the door. And uh, there is another eye in here, but we'll get to that. Plop him back down. And then... We still can't get him across, so we did open up a new door. So let's go check that out. Back and forward. So let's go and have a load screen. Hi, Dark Nut. So this is the first Dark Nut fight that you would normally encounter. Yep. Say goodbye to your helmet, say goodbye to your armor, say goodbye to your Knight's Crest. The uh, Knight's Crests always come from the uh, Dark Nuts. And interesting thing, once he grabs his sword, if you do a spin attack, he'll do a spin attack. I love that. And if you have, um, no, I'll talk about that later. Never mind. <laughs> there are some tougher ones later that will have, uh, bucklers as well, uh, which bucklers are just a type of shield. Um, and, uh, they will block your attacks, uh, many times. And, uh, if you try to stun them with a boomerang, sometimes it'll work. I, you have to knock their helmet off in order to do that, though. Uh, but sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't, I think. Um, I know that they will sometimes block my um, grappling hook. Sorry, I'm not thinking of words today. 
And uh, with the uh, giant sword that you can pick up, you can crush the uh, pillars, if you so desire. I think they have hearts in them in uh, the non-hero mode play. But uh, we got the bow, which is great, because now we can actually hit those eyeballs. And uh, I'm actually going to put my bow on R, because... I prefer it on R. And uh, let me see if I can show a glitch really quick. I can. You'll notice that we have a hat. We don't have a hat. And now we do. Doesn't happen like this. We don't have a hat. Pull out the bow, and we have a hat. I don't understand that, because we still have the blue shirt. We can still see the blue arms, but we have a hat now. I always found that interesting. And fire, and fire. Wait. There. Nope. There. Nope. <laughs> go away, bubble! There we go. Alright, now we can hit the eye. And uh, all we have to do is just grapple hook back, and swing, and make it, and then pick them up, and wait for the platform to come back to us, hop across, and then hop across again, and then hop across and quickly run to the door because the statues come alive. Those are our most, by the way. Um, Some of the statues that you've passed already will now be coming to life, uh, now that you have the bow. Because you can use the bow to stun them, however you don't have to. And uh, he'll open up the last door for us. But we will do that next time, so I will see you all then. Take care.